What's up everyone, when you enter my room, this is what it looks like at the moment, before adding any plants. So there's my desk, where I make all of these videos and study. There's just a couch, my chest set from the previous video, make sure to go watch that. I already have one plant, as you can see. It's like one, one of those Chinese money plants. My school books. This is just to show you guys real quick my little collection of fossils, minerals, little animals and shells. That's been here for a while, but I cleaned everything recently. So my books. And I've already did this. Here I screwed a hole in this, by the way. You probably can see it but there's like a little stair and then a section above with also a window which is very important for the plants which I'm going to put all over this room. So I have two windows this well yeah straight from above so there's some light I guess from that and this window which is like north east facing so it doesn't have a lot of light but the room, yeah, it's not the brightest room in the world, but it's fine. So here I've uh, mounted this with a screw. And I'm planning to put some special plants in this bowl. Well, yeah, it will just look cool. So, and then there I have another room that's southwest facing window. Like, right there. With the ecosphere also from the previous video. So plants which need a little bit more, more of sunlight will need to, to go by that window. So let's add in the plants. So guys, as you can see, here are all the plants I'm going to put in this room. There are quite a few, but I've made a pretty good selection, I think. Let's go over them real quick. I'll put the scientific names in the video somewhere. That's a coffee plant. That's actually just a little wheat, which happened to be growing in that bowl. Just a coincidence. That's an Alocasia. This is my favorite, a Philodendron. It has these very special vines. Then there we have a Photos. That's just an Areca palm. That's a Bahira aquatica. Like a little tree stem, it looks like. This I got from my dad. It's an Amaryllis, so it gets like a nice white flower from the window. Then this is a Monstera species, the tallest and largest plant of them all. Then here we have a dwarf banana plant. Then these are the ones I'm going to put in the hanging bowl. They are epiphys or air plants, so they don't need any roots. This is another palm species. This is aloe vera. And this is the cactus setup I already prepared. So these are the plants and let's put them in the room. So guys, this is what I actually had in mind and so I decided to actually go with this setup. So here we have a palm in the bottom and there we have the big monstera which I want to grow higher, like up the ladder maybe. Then there the, the little tree stem, the other little plant, the four epiphytes in the little bowl there. Very pretty. So the photos I actually want to put up there, so it will actually grow like along the whole edge. That's my idea. And maybe hang some leaves like in the air here. Then there next to the Chinese money plant, the other palm. 
Then to the other side of the room, I have a great look when I work on my desk of the philodendron, and the little coffee plant, and the little weed, and of course the alocasia. So these I didn't find a place yet, but well actually I did, because this banana plant needs a lot of sunlight. So right next to my ecosphere, I've put the cacti there on the left side, and the banana plant and the aloe vera here. Here they get quite a bit of sunlight, so I think this will be just fine. One more thing I'm going to add is a lead strip along the wood there. And not just a normal lead strip, but actually for growth of plants, so in the spectrum of blue and red. Um, which will help the plants grow because, well, as I said, it's not very light in this room. Well, there are two windows, but still, it's not like south facing or something. So, to help the plants a little more, I will put the lead strip right there. So these plants and also these plants will benefit from that. The lights have finally arrived. These are the LEDs. So this is a LED strip. Well, specifically for a plant grow, because plants need basically blue and red light to be able to do uh, photosynthesis, depending on which uh, chlorophyll um, molecule we're talking about, chlorophyll A, B or F, I think, yeah. This is pretty nice. This one I already had laying around. Well, because it's blue light, but I know it's very specific enough. And it also gets pretty hot, so I don't think it's actually LEDs. It's also very old. It's not very efficient, I think. I've ordered some um, other, like, specifically for plants, like purplish uh, LED lamps. But not, not a strip like that, but like bigger lamps. And I can actually control the light with my cell phone. And I'm going to put it on a specific shadow, so it will turn on at, for example, 7 p.m. to 23 p.m. To give an example. I've added four new members to the family. This is a Monstera species. This is more like a climbing vine. Well, actually like most Monsteras. Which I'm also going to put right up there next to the photos. And create like a climbing vine area with different species so they can hang down here and go all the way in this whole area. Then here we have a small little uh, aloe borensis I think. This I got from a friend. This one I also got from a friend. Thank you very much for that by the way. This one I'm going to use for a future project for uh, making a terrarium. So if you don't want to miss that be sure to subscribe. The cactus I will place on the south facing window with the aloe vera. And then here we have my prime plant. It's a philodendron white princess. So it's quite rare. This philodendron white princess is a result of specific mutations on the level of the cell. Well, like every mutation. For example, in this white part of the leaf, the genes that encode for the proteins that make up chlorophyll, the thingy in the green part of the leaves that stands for the photosynthesis. There's a mutation in that gene and therefore chlorophyll can be made. And this is, well, in every cell of the, of the leaf it's different. Here we are on my duplex, with the nice photos. A little fact for you guys, the, like the colorations, is also because of a specific uh, Riagata mutation. And between the two um, spongy chlorophyll layers, there is actually some very thin air pockets which cause a, well, a specific reflection of the light hitting it and making these silvery looking spots on the leaves. And I've put it my Monstera there and I hope it will grow like in that direction. And as you've seen, my morning glory seeds have sprouted. It's about five days ago or let's say a week ago since I've planted them they're definitely growing towards the light these also will become uh, climbing vines which I also want to push in that direction so I can actually see them when I'm in my room along with these two other plants so yeah here's a little top view of the plant room at this moment and then here 
Oh, and that's a little sneak peek for next week's video. Ooh, this is what it looks like in the evening. Let me turn off the main lights real quick. So it gives off a plenty amount of light. I think the plants will definitely notice it. We will be able to do some photosynthesis because of the lights. But as I said, I'm going to change these blue lights to well different, more bright, also purplish lights. And look at this, my Alcasia is already getting a new leaf right there. And especially my philodendron is doing very well. Here's a new leaf, there's a new leaf, and in the back there's also a new leaf. So this one will look very nice in a few days and this part will be a little fuller. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.